Hello and good day to all you wonderful citizens across the universe. Wagwan, welcome back to my channel, Great Amaziah. This is ATG. I'm sending enough love to all my subscribers, my friends, my family, them. Yeah, especially my kids, Naish and Ajani. Big up kids support kids also. As a matter of fact, big up all viewers and supporters straight across the world because Egerton from Africa and the African tribe already lock in. The Maroons them done lock in. Jamaica and the entire Caribbean lock in. America, Canada, US, Europe and all fans across the globe are already lock in. Ain't no stopping. Great way to get we don't tell them precisely. Last week I started off with a story about Ayana Hill. Who haven't checked it out yet, please go and go do so now so you can comprehend the full story. A link I'll be in the description with the first part. I will also tag it in the video cards up by the top of this video what you're watching right now. Or you can simply type in Ayana Hill in a YouTube search and you will see all of what you missed from the past. One big favor may I ask you amazing people, seriously, this story needs more attention. So therefore, I'm asking you, please, share this video. Let your child or your children see it. Make your parents them see it, your friends them. Make everybody see it and know about this, even your granny. I will also try to keep it as kids friendly as possible, so bear with me. In part one, I had mentioned how Ayana and I met. I'm telling a little bit about who she lived with. But this week, before I elaborate about more of our friendship, I'll definitely have to tell you some more about her family. And now, back to the story. Starting off with Ayana's daddy, Mr. Jeffrey Cool and Deadly Hill. Jeff was somewhat, some would say, a cool and humble guy, but he was a Don. A very feared one too. He was the type to split justice whenever there was any form of conflict in the community. Them time that there was the Rise Up Gang, which he was the leader of it. One main thing I admired about this man, even though society classed him as a bad man, he always encouraged kids to respect their parents and to go to school. On many occasions, he would assist individuals with financial support for their children's tuition fee. He offered lunch money to some. If a child was seen smoking, that child would be disciplined, and his cronies would somehow inform the parent or parents what took place. Yo, it really amazed me how this man was seen as a gangster but always emphasized on youths to put education first as it is very essential and to leave badness alone. He always try to encourage the youth themselves to learn a trade and don't be worthless. In fact, he was the one who initiated a program called Hill Rise Youth Foundation which aimed to fund progressive youth in territory level education. But we all know gossipers stay. Bad mind people start talking about our guns and ammunition, the more the money for buy and all kinds of things. Hill was one of the main reasons why less crime was in the area. I mean, few police would have passed through a couple of times now and then, but like I said, Jeff had the thing under control, upon a different level. Anyone caught stealing or if a man beat up a woman, him seriously would be severely punished. As a matter of fact, there was this incident where allegedly a man was tortured and killed for molesting a minor. Yeah, I mean, them could allow the law men to handle that situation differently, but Hill had no trust in the system ever since he got deported from the UK some years ago before Ayana was born. He was loved by many, still hated by a few. To cut a long story short, Hill was eventually killed during an altercation between the police and him. And you know, rumors in the ground say one of them closest warriors set him up, which is also them says a cousin of his set up in life with the security forces. Ayana was only 11 years then. Her dad's gruesome departure was very devastating to her because to her, he was the only hero in her life. She was daddy's princess, the only child for him and the second for her mom, Miss Daphne Coleman. Ayana never really seen that dark gangster side of Mr. Hill before other than what people said in the streets. Up till now, she still have it embedded in her mind's walls that the cruel cops innocently murdered her father. In less than six months after Jeff was buried, Daphne reunited with her high school boyfriend and baby father. When you hear me talk about Ayana was the second child for her mom, right? Well, her elder sibling was Keisha Dennis and she was the firstborn for Daphne and her first love, Richard Dennis. Ayana never really got much attention from her mom ever since Richard came back in the picture. As a matter of fact, to me, Miss Daphne was one of them hypocrite mother there. Who made her say prejudice because she rather Keisha more because of her light skin complexion? Whoa, yeah. This is the world which we're living in. Keisha Dennis was very mean and rude to her sister. As kids growing up, she never shared much with Ayana Hill and her mom did nothing about it. Many times, Keisha would do stuff and lie to her mom about it that it was her little sister. And guess what? 
Ayana was punished. A lot of confusion, pain, anger evolve and plague her mind. She often wonders, where did she go wrong? Her best friends were her books which she enjoyed reading so much or the neighbor's puppy from next door who usually forced its way through the fence looking for food. At about 13 years old, Ayana developed a bit of hatred for her mom after reporting that Richard had touched her inappropriately when no one else was at home. But that's it for today. Join me next week, Tuesday, for part 3, and I will definitely give you more story of Ayana Hill. This is Amaziah the Great saying thanks for all your time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share this video. Tell them precisely. Okay, viewers, fans, friends, my family, them, subscribers, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Please do feel absolutely free to drop us your comment and be kind to leave a feedback. Yeah, comment, like, share, and tell others about it. And also remember to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on what's new. Talking about what's new, go and go check out Amazia the Great Collections. Me have all the merchandise, I'm going with a bag of things. Enough t shirt designs, don't tell them precisely. Available on Teespring. Enough people are talking about it, but go and go look for yourselves. Links will be in the description below we have tabs for females males babies cups phone cases etc mr guanga look now follow me here the great collection on ig and like us on facebook if you haven't watched my name is pam before features my sister quality please do go and go watch it and share it as it relates to domestic abuse against women and a woman struggle through it to independence also remember to check out amazia the great music on amazon spotify tidal deezer google play it's everywhere <laughs>